In this video, we will discuss using the Opticon scanner to match images and data inside of Flow. Before you begin, you will want to have an ActiveFlow license with either your lab or photo links, as well as an Opticon scanner. Keep in mind we are not associated with Opticon in any way. Photolinks is providing this video and program features to assist you in an untethered workflow to match images and data inside of Flow. As always, be sure you discuss your workflow with your lab to ensure this is something that they can support and process on their end. Also, be sure that you follow the steps provided in this video in its entirety to minimize any issues you may have with using the Opticon scanner. Keep in mind, these scanners are time sensitive and many issues may arise if not used properly. We highly recommend that you do a mock session to test your workflow using Opticon data inside of Flow before doing a live session. You also want to be sure that you have your Opticon scanner set up properly. Please contact PhotoLinks or see the attached file for assistance on setting this up. We recommend using the Opticon OPN 2004 scanner. Before you start each new session with your Opticon scanner, you must first clear all the data from your scanner by pressing and holding the small button located at the top of your scanner for about 10 seconds. You must then scan a sample barcode and take a sample picture within two seconds of each other. This will establish a baseline for comparing timestamp of the Opticon scanner and image timestamps from your camera. You may also configure your scanner with these barcode settings. Ticket code, time, and date. Notice this is a comma delimited file with no spaces between the commas. Also, the time is in military time and the date is in year, month, day format. Also take note that the flow will be able to read the ticket code information with or without the .nst prefix as well. This workflow has been tested and proven successful with the OPN 2004 scanner from Opticon. Once you are inside a flow, you will first want to set up your software so that it can read Opticon information. This is a quick and simple one-time setup. To do this, click on Preferences in the top right-hand corner of your screen, and then over to the left, click on Capture. Go over to the Image Metadata tab and place a check mark here next to Enable Image Importer in Capture and press Save. Once your flow is all set to import Opticon images, you are now ready to start building your job. Create a project and then import data to create unique ticket codes for each subject. You will then want to print your camera cards directly from Flow to bring with you so you can scan them on picture day. During your photo shoot, be sure to scan your barcodes for each subject within two minutes of taking their picture. While you do not need to bring anything else with you to picture day besides your camera and your scanner, it is recommended that you write the JPEG name on each camera card of the image you've taken. This will make it easier to match up later on in, if your syncing in flow is unsuccessful. Back at the office, you will want to plug in your Opticon scanner into your computer to download your scanned.txt file. Save this file into the same folder you have downloaded your images into. Remember to keep a backup of your images just in case. Once you have your images and the scanned.txt file in one folder, open your project you created in Flow and go to your capture screen. Click on the Import Images button above the hot folder inside of Flow and browse out for your folder of images and click OK. When Flow loads your images, it will move them from the image folder you specified into the Flow project folder as it is matched to a subject record. If Flow is unable to match specific images, they will remain in your original image folder. From here, you can move them into your hot folder and manually assign these images. 